What's up, Samsung Champions? Today I'm going to be going over the MIM A60UN. That is the third party thermostat adapter. The third party thermostat adapter is typically going to be sold with a multi position air handler. It can be also used on a high wall system, four way cassette, ducted S, or slim duct systems. And before you today, I have what you're going to need to install this on a multi position air handler. If you're installing a third-party thermostat adapter on a Samsung high wall system, Quantum 2.0 or the Winfrey, you will also need the sub PCB. So of course, we're gonna need the third-party thermostat adapter kit itself. You're gonna need an additional 24 volt transformer, some control wire, some wire nuts, some basic hand tools, and of course your third-party thermostat. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open up the third-party thermostat adapter and see what's inside. You're gonna get your instruction manual and you're gonna get your third-party thermostat adapter. Now. We're going to focus on the third-party thermostat adapter installation manual and we're going to focus on some things here when it comes to settings i'll show you these dials once we open up the third-party thermostat adapter one of the first things your contractor is going to need to do is set up the rotary dials you have two rotary dials you have sw1 and rsw2 rsw1 does the cool mode set temperatures for y1 and y2 by default it comes set at zero for a Y1 call of 73.4 degrees, a Y2 call of 68 degrees. We want to go ahead and set the rotary dial to the coldest setting of the Y1 and Y2 at the number 1. Setting the RSW1 at the number 1 will give you a Y1 call down to 68 degrees and a Y2 call to 64.4 degrees. The RSW2 is going to control the heat mode set temperature. We recommend setting it at the number three, which is gonna give you a W1 call of 77 and a W2 call of 82.4 degrees. The homeowner may want something warmer and that's fine. Just have the contractor go across the chart and he can select the warmest setting. If the contractor is installing a third party thermostat adapter in the conditioned space, then he can utilize the port for the external temperature thermistor inside a third party thermostat adapter. If not, the contractor may wanna purchase an additional external room thermistor and locate that thermistor inside the conditioned space. Now let's take a look inside our third-party thermostat adapter. On the left, you'll notice the connections for our third-party thermostat. You'll notice our voltage in from the 24 volt transformer on the bottom left. On the right, you're gonna notice our F3 and F4 connections that go to the communication wire from the indoor unit. Then in addition to that, we have the ability to wire in additional accessories. But for today, we're only going to focus on the F3 and F4 connections, wiring a third-party thermostat, and then powering up the third-party thermostat adapter. I also want you guys to notice the two banks of dip switches on the top left, our RSW1 and our RSW2 dial that I mentioned earlier, and the port for the external thermistor. With that being said, let's go ahead and wire this up. Okay, for demonstration purposes, obviously these are not mounted on the wall, but I want to be able to show you guys the wiring. I went ahead and wired up the third-party thermostat to the third-party thermostat adapter. Ignore the wiring colors, I had to work with what I had. Important thing to note here is that we need to power the third-party thermostat with an additional 24-volt transformer. We do not want to utilize the 24-volt transformer that's in a multi-position air handler. That being said, our voltage in from the transformer comes in to TR and TC. Our voltage out to the third-party thermostat is going to be the R and the C. Another thing to note is that the third-party thermostat must be set up for electric heat. We're going to set the third-party thermostat up as a regular straight cool system with electric heat. All right, we went ahead and powered on our system. I went through all the settings of the third-party thermostat and set it up to a straight cool system utilizing electric heat. Now we just power the system up. As, as you can see, the LEDs on a third-party thermostat are flashing. After a few minutes, the flashing will stop and then you'll notice that we have the green LED all the way to the right that is on. That is normal operations. So now we can go ahead and take our third party thermostat and turn the system on. Set it to cool. It's holding at 69, we'll put it at 70. There is approximately three minute time delay on the Samsung system, as well as the built in time delay on the third party thermostat. And there you have it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, please put them in the comment below or contact me directly. And if you have any suggestions for upcoming videos, like I mentioned before, please go ahead and contact me, shoot me an email, or reply in the comments below as well. But before I let you go, I want to go over some key points. Key point number one, the contractor must utilize an additional 24-volt transformer. Key point number two, 
The contractor must set up the third-party thermostat as a straight cool system utilizing electric heat. And key point number three, if they're installing a third-party thermostat on a high wall system, they will also need the sub PCB in order for the system to interface with the high wall unit. Once again, thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, concerns, as I mentioned earlier, leave them in the comments below. Thank you.